Hey, it's what the flick, our discussion of Fargo Buritan, Buritans? Buritan? Buritan's ass. Um, <laughs> ass. Uh, ben Mankiewicz, Alonzo Duraldi, John Iderola. This is the sixth of ten episodes, and an episode that runs the risk of me not watching the show anymore. Uh, really? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to go that far, but I definitely was thinking, but I no, wasn't prepared for this. I can't take it. I won't. I can't take it. Like, as, as you oh, know, I know specifically as, as you what you're know, talking you, about. You, 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 like, I, I, you know, we've done a lot of shows together. Like, I don't, I don't overreact no, like no, that, no, no, no. like this. But this is a character I like so much, and if she's dead, I, I don't know that I can. I don't mm, know. I, I, I can't go too, on. I'm too. Ang I was too angry. I was like, "There's no way." So I, I felt I'm that so way angry, and I, and I don't think I'm exceptional. So that I don't think it was different. It was a shocking death in House of Cards, but uh, Kate Mara's death. But it's it's different. Mm -hmm. to the core of what the show is. And she yes. is what the show is and was the only sort of person you ever wanted to spend any time with. So Colin I don't... Hanks. So She's the moral compass. I Colin would, uh, Hanks, yeah. in the process, you think you want to spend time with him. He's so incompetent in his job, he might <laughs> yeah. have killed the only normal person on the show. So I don't think, I, for whatever it's worth, I, I, I think we're going to get her in the hospital recovering I, or I'm, with a bulletproof vest or something. Or yeah, because that. that's a big gamble yeah, that's to a big, do to the yeah. show, character that we like that much, for well, sure. As they pulled away, uh, I was, again, as I always do, I watch these uh, Skyping with another person. We were arguing <laughs> over whether or not there was blood visible. I said I didn't see blood. No, she I think said she jacket. saw blood. I think it's her jacket. It looks okay. like yeah, it could, it could she's be. Face down. She's face down. I think, mm -hmm. it's the ins I think it's a jacket out like yeah. this. And here's the thing about Fargo so far. Uh, when they want to show a horrific injury, like when there is a horrific injury, they will show it. That's oh, true. Yeah. They don't right. often hide right. the fact. Right. You'll yeah. show the head getting When he's putting the knife in Mr. Numbers' neck, we're right in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. Right. Except, so I don't. She'll be live. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to guess, but I don't know. We, we don't know. It, it, is, it is Fargo. But I also, there, <laughs> there was a moment where they said, stay tuned for coming up next on Fargo. And at least on the later feed, there was no. <laughs> they just rolled it in the next. That's a big tease. Huh. It didn't. There was none. I was looking and I was like, because I'm like, I gotta something. <laughs> you cannot. I mean, because she she got shot and there was like 15 minutes left. Right. And I yeah. watched that. I know, and I thought, I well, surely surprising. they're not gonna. They, that's why we have the extra because they're not gonna end with this. Yeah. But I la, I, la, I watched that last 15 minutes like. Like, <laughs> numb. <laughs> like, I was watching it really tired, and so I started to think, am I hallucinating? Is it, <laughs> because there's so many things happening. This isn't a normal episode of TV, and there's so much snow. Maybe I'm imagining all of this, and I'll wake up, and everything will be good again. The, about the snow, I was at, at first, when all that started, I was thinking, you know, you don't see weather on television a lot. Like, that's somehow too expensive, and even with the effects now, like, TV is indoors a lot, or they're outside. It's, you know, it's pretty... You see just rained yeah. 10 minutes ago. On TV. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, somebody hose down the side. But so I was like, well, blizzard. And then by the end, I was like, oh, yeah, this is why you don't see weather on television. This, this looks why. like shit. Right, yeah. <laughs> but, but made for, but made for uh, two, obviously, two completely interesting scenes. No, and, dramatically, yeah. yes. It's and great, just, but it, the, just, the it, effects, just, it was just kind of. I bought it to some extent. The person I was watching was like, this is really bad. It's better than any scene on the water in turn. I mean, okay. there are levels here, but it's still, by the end, I was like, I don't, I don't know the blizzards are really this blue. Yeah. But, it was like, you know. I, I think I could do this if I. I had a weekend and some buddies. <laughs> like I could, I could I make this fan. I, I don't know. I think a, it's a whiteout. Like that's what a whiteout is. You can't see ten feet in front of you. No, no, no I don't mean that so much. I, that is sort of like an artistic mm. thing. Like it just everything mm. drops off. It was more like the motion and everything. Like it, 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 it was apparent in a way that it isn't normally on this show. That this is not an HBO show. They don't have five million dollars per episode. Like those, those actors, Mr. Wrench and Mr. Numbers, are on a green screen and they don't look perfectly composited with mm. the background. And mm. this show is better than most shows on like regular you know, sure. networks, and that sort of thing. And so I it, I so it stood out it, in a way. You may be right. I, I didn't. Um, um, Still great scenes. Right. So if uh, let's, uh, let's, let, let us catalog everything that's going on Bobby here. Cow. OK, so Lester uh, is in the hospital, is being guarded by a policeman. He switches places with his <laughs> agonizing uh, pain roommate uh, with the bandages on the face, uh, st gets his clothes out, steals a car, goes to his brother's house, or no, sorry, goes to his house, find, takes the gun out from behind the inspirational the gun, poster, yeah, the or the, the, the hammer, uh, along with a boudoir photograph and underwear, takes it to his brother's house, puts it in the gun locker, and then puts an additional gun into his nephew's knapsack. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, no, the staring at the photo. <laughs> mm. 
And, and then he puts the gun. Yeah, that and, was one of the greatest moments yeah, of the show. At first you think, oh, he's having a twinge of remorse. No, <laughs> no, nope, he's getting more it's, ideas. It's, inspir it's serendipity, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as, as somebody uh, messaged me on Facebook, it is official Lester is Malvo's mini-me. Yeah, totally. Uh, <laughs> and, and then has that great sort of stare down with his nephew, Gordon. Yes. Um, and, <laughs> that was uh, weird and Gordon's like, Whatever. Yeah. And Gordon, of course, is like, look, he's staying with us. Yeah, it's like, uh, you're, you're here, or whatever. You're here, yeah. Yeah. Adults. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, it, well, and it never, also... And in do, sorry, and very quick, just, but in doing all those things, escaping from the hospital, going to his house, going to his brother's house, planning the evidence, getting the gun, never puts on pants. I know. That was a little bit <laughs> yeah. He goes to his yeah. own home and doesn't, doesn't, doesn't get a pants. Doesn't get a pair of pants. Yeah, he's got but, stuff to do. But even so, uh, but then it never occurred to me even though it should have, because he never put on pants, that his plan was always, that was our sign, that his plan was always to go back, Come to, back, go back to the yeah. hospital, which I didn't get, I'm sure, I, I, until the end. I yeah. didn't immediately either, but then I was like, well, of course, because he's not going to go on the lamb. It's, right. You know, the, yeah. he, that would be, that would mess up his... So he, and he also, he had to work quickly. Right. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I question whether or not that timeline would actually work. Like, they just, eh, I'm sure the body will turn up in the hallway or something. They, they <laughs> search for it. But, um, but yeah, so it, it's, he's sort of the mini-me in that now he's, he's incredibly ruthless. Like, he's going to sort of get the, the kid in trouble, but also he's... He's planting the evidence to get his uh, brother. His brother, yeah. Like, which, I mean, his brother went in and accused him of doing it, but his brother was totally right for once. And so yeah. that, that shows a new level He's of sort of bloodthirsty. His brother's still a he dick. He is still a dick. <laughs> yeah. But also, the planning worked. It, this wasn't him fumbling and bumbling. Like, right. he had a plan, and it worked. And that's not something we've seen yeah, from this, Lester. He is no longer the Lester who calls, you know, who, who spills his I've guts bad. to the hotel operator, you know? <laughs> right, that's right. Yeah. He's definitely got that's his act right. together right. more. Talked, I forgot he talked to the hotel <laughs> operator before he got connected to the uh, And right. then now Malvo, meanwhile, is doing the, the finishing touches on his, his crazy blackmail scheme with by setting up Bronzer uh, in, a, in a police shootout. That was, that was horrifying. That was horrifying. Because, also because he, I didn't think it would be Because he survived the initial barrage. Yes. Like those yes. bullets missed him. It was so <laughs> yeah. great. Like you lived, and I thought, oh, is he going to actually? But stop the SWAT. Oh no! Then no, no. <laughs> comes the SWAT team. But he and gets the. <laughs> but he gets the thing off just in time yeah. to yell, "Wait, wait!" Yeah. Doesn't matter. God, God. Oh my God. That, <laughs> I I predicted he wouldn't get shot, so I was wrong. I'm going to say I I I like violence in movies and TV. <laughs> I'm a big fan of those sorts of things. I thought that, that that series of shots of him being shot. Mm. You just like it's all it was sunny just in Philadelphia. Too, I do, I do. But <laughs> it was too. We didn't need to see him get shot 35 but, times. But guys, or whatever. Shot but, we, times. but we did because that, that underscores just the, the awfulness of this situation that Malvo completely put yeah, in no, and I staged think, this yeah. whole incident around him. I don't that know. Was, that was hard for me to watch. That was. It's because you like and him. It was you, supposed to. Oh, you didn't. Yeah. You were like, I don't think he's going to get shot. Of course he was going to get shot. The stunning thing was he didn't get drilled in the head the week before. <laughs> he said, I got a whole extra week of life. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess. I don't know. I thought it was great. And, uh, but by the way, really fast, let it be said, the, Turkish was, Delight is not that bad. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> but the lighting, I thought, was really great for that, too. For mm. the, Not so mm -hmm. much just for, for the scene, but... Uh, to just for the cops, like that's how Did they, all they see is, a, they see and a, is gun. a silhouette with a gun. They yeah. can't see any of the tape. They right. can't yeah. see any anything, and so they all just. And of course, when they look, at, at, you know, uh, 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 what was his name? Amadou Diallo got shot to 41 times. That's He's reaching true. for his wallet. That was four cops. Yeah. So you know. And I love the line they slip in: "Suicide by cop fire." Is yeah, that right. what they yeah. said? Yeah, yeah. Oh. that's what. It, yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, then Milos uh, uh, having his revelation on the roof of the garage where he takes the money back. And that's, the roof of the garage was Fargo the movie. Right, too, right, right. and also his, trying to leave without paying the thing. You right, because then that was, uh, it got ugly and violent, I believe, <laughs> on the roof of the garage in the movie. And then here they set it up for it, and they're like, nope, he's <laughs> just going to, he's just going to leave with the money. And then he goes and repays it. And then, of course, we have, to, <laughs> so the snow stops, and then yeah. fish. fish. <laughs> right. I don't know. I don't know. I'm assuming uh, a semi turned over and they came blowing out. I mean, I. Th but it went up in the. And, and the thing was, there were fish well, from, on from top like a bridge or something. I don't know. There was a, there was fish on top of the car that had flipped over, which implies right. that even after the they accident, kept fish kept coming. I like a plane transporting fish, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I thought I mean, maybe Malvo Magnolia. set it up. They're going to explain it. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. They'll explain it. Yeah, right. I guess so. I mean, that was obviously a weird moment and weirdly biblical. Of course, I'm sure that's what they were going for. Mm -hmm. Those are big fish too. 
Yeah, very tragic. Yeah. Well, the other weird thing is, you know, I mean, it uh, didn't really matter because it was Colin Hanks who shot her, but Molly kind of stupidly in the in the grocery store gets very specific about what they want to know in terms of the company car and who was driving, and da -da -da, mm -hmm. which is basically like sort of signaling to Malvo, like, mm -hmm. by the way, we're coming after you specifically. Yeah, although he wouldn't have stopped her, I don't think. I mean, I think that would have been his indication to flee rather than Maybe, but hunt her nonetheless, yeah. it, it seemed, for somebody who's actually a pretty good cop, it seemed an odd moment for her to give that much information to some flunky. Yeah, she, was, she was hungry and she wanted coffee, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and she was irritated. Yeah. Like, there was some degree of, I, but I agree, but there was some degree of, we're waiting here awkwardly. No one here is. No one here does any police work. Even this guy I like doesn't know how to do. Yeah. Right. Doesn't really know how to do police work. Yeah. He, he just like, wanted to be a mailman. Right. Um, and, and, you know, I, I think she it's in character for her. Although you would have think she would have followed up on the crickets. Like, are you here about the crickets? Yeah. That she would have. That just that would have been like. What crickets? What crickets? <laughs> like I. That's well, odd. So you yeah. guys were overrun by crickets a couple yeah. days ago. Oh, I'm just. I'll file that away as yeah. something I now yeah. know. But. Uh, I, I do think though the the whole not hiding what she's looking for like she think she thought a couple of episodes ago that Lester was the murderer basically and yet she had that confrontation with him at his car laying out that she obviously thought he was the murderer mm -hmm. like I, I think that she, that's one of her flaws is that she doesn't think she doesn't she, hold her cars close to enough to her chest yeah, yeah and she also she has twice now thought she had it figured out like as opposed to because I've read enough cop novels written by people who covered <laughs> cops like you don't make up the good cops don't decide what happened. Like, you don't have to decide what happened. You can decide Lester is involved in too many pieces of this, and we don't have it figured out yet, and we need to talk more to Lester, as opposed to Lester, Lester hired him, <laughs> then didn't pay him, and it went wrong. Like, just, yeah. like, you, you know Lester's involved. Something's happening. Yeah. But you don't need to make up your scenario because then you start looking for the evidence that fits right. in with the scenario that you made up. So we don't know how Molly's doing. We do know that we have lost Mr. Numbers. It was Mr. Yes. Numbers. No, yes. sorry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, what's, the, what's the other? Mr. Case? Wrench. Mr. Wrench. Yeah. Um, Mr. Wrench. We think shot her, but uh, I mean, we we think she because there was an, Molly had an exchange of gunfire mm. in the in, in the what? Presumably. Or numbers. We oh, that's know. true. We yeah. don't know. Yeah. No, Wrench. Wrench. Then. Sorry, Wrench. Wrench. With the right with with Wrench or Malvo, presumably, yeah. and we presume that that Colin Hank shot her. But as I read, I was reading a couple recaps. They suggest that Colin Hank shot her. But we don't know. We don't actually know. She could have been shot in that exchange of gunfire, and that's yeah. just where she lay. And he I'm just have... trying to take a moment to remember poor Mr. Numbers, who is one of my yeah, most exactly. favorite characters on he this show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, no, totally. And it's a, it's a fun guy. I mean, look, look. If if no, if Mr. No, if, if Adam Goldberg and Allison Tolman both die on the same show, oh. and and poor Corky, I figured it out. I have incompetent. Oh, father, the son, yeah. Dimitri, he didn't do anything. Yeah. Like, I mean, he's as innocent. As you get, and the gruff bodyguard, and right, yeah. and the and the interesting bodyguard, but he's <laughs> whatever. He yeah, and, uh, we, we right. can spare him. But yeah. I mean, Dimitri is, he didn't do anything, no. and in fact, his dad. Well, the good cop in the first episode didn't do anything. Right, and, mm -hmm. and his dad even had Oliver Platt has a nice moment where he's like, "Can tell him, tell him, uh, tell him I love him." Like he was. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. that. Yeah, <laughs> that was a great line. But uh, but like you yeah. get the feeling that Oliver Platt was going to be like, "Let's uh, go fishing." This weekend, yeah. sure, or something. Yes. You know, I mean, it's ah, whatever. It's a terrible. Yeah. You don't know what you got till it's gone. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I do like that. At least before Numbers dies, they did get to have their badass moment where they run Mel. They've tracked Melvo down. They yes. run his car off and then start laying into it with automatic machine right. with machine gun fire, no, which is nice. That's what I was like. Yes, this is finally happening. Yeah, right. I, I was been looking forward to that confrontation. It, yeah. it did not disappoint. No, that was, it was it was it was good. And Melvo just you know he's so good. And I mean, and using the door to knock yeah. Mr. Wrench back the, was a great yeah. little. Sort of moment there. I thought he was resourceful. Just, yeah, it was just it was well choreographed the whole thing. Yeah. And then oh, and cutting your own hand for yeah, the blood the trail. Blood, yeah. 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 Oh, and it was, is this our first glimpse of Fargo? Right, and that was the other thing we got right oh, at the beginning. Yes. We got Fargo, yeah. like what who these guys are, and uh, and they're eating. We had the fish preparation at the mm -hmm. beginning, which made me sick. And then the, right, it was disgusting. <laughs> and then the fish at the end. Uh, oh, that's and, a good point. Um, and. Uh, uh, and so I don't know quite what that point is, other than it came fish. back, right? <laughs> other than fish. It's a callback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's fish. But right, it is a callback. But the but we got the mobster and with the weird Australian guy. Yes. Telling the story, ordering the mai tais. Yeah. Oi, oi! Mai I've, been, I've been watching mai Orphan tai. Black, so there's a tremendous amount of oi <laughs> and Orphan Black. Yeah, oi, yeah. Um, uh, but I uh, so 
So he just and it was cool, like like the Fargo mob, just as cutthroat as the as the five families. Mm -hmm. You know, he's like, no, I don't care if it was don't related care wife, to wife don't or care. related to something else, whatever. Head in the bag. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, you killed him in the bag. You killed, uh, you, you get yes, killed. That's yeah. it, <laughs> right? So, uh, uh, but interesting that we finally got a glimpse of. Uh, but also, what was great about that scene? It started out so well because the guy talking to him. Like he's going over numbers with him, yeah. like very basic numbers. You don't get the feeling that ever at any point in the history of The Godfather that Brando received, <laughs> and we're going to need uh, uh, three nights at a hotel and mileage. Yeah, you know, you know yeah. Yeah. I mean, Tom, Tom uh, never has a ledger. Tom you know, didn't have a le <laughs> mileage. Mileage, they're gonna pay numbers and wrench mileage. Yeah. <laughs> I know, is there a mob per diem? I mean, yeah. I don't even know how that works. Yeah, I don't know, it was good. Uh, <laughs> Good scenes, good scenes, but if, yeah. but uh, but I can't take her death, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, important note: uh, I didn't freeze frame to see what weapon it was exactly that wrench was using, but I have a feeling it uses a different caliber of bullets than a standard oh, no, police issue handgun. No, he had a he had a long gun. He had yeah, a, he yeah. had a he had a. Yeah, automatic. so they'll be able to track. If she's dead, they'll know whose bullet killed her. At least they'll know whose bullet killed her. But I mean, yeah. we also. But he's not watching. But we get Colin <laughs> Hanks, um, and like you, you know, he's a likable character. But like you know, he wanted, he wanted to be in the post office. <laughs> he wanted to be, to be part of the community. I wanted know. to be part of the community. See the same people every day. Get that check they always wanted. Oh, Christmas presents. Yeah, uh, Christmas presents. Look, and, you know, sometimes you just want to be a civil servant and you take the job that's available. But, but like uh, you yeah. want in but a no, normal cops, show, know, like he rises to the occasion. Right. But he has lowered to the occasion. <laughs> he kept saying, "No, no, wait." He never took his gun out before that when there obviously yeah. was reason to take the gun yeah, out. Yeah, she's marching on. He's like. I, 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 like, wait, wait, wait! And then he does, and then he's he, dead, I think. And then he yelled, "Halt!" <laughs> like it's a 1943 <laughs> Warner Brothers movie, you know? Um, like halt, and then and also halt. <laughs> you know, yeah. he's he's incompetent. He has yeah. no business being a cop. Yeah. It turns yeah. out he is bad. Or it's like the that, security guard has the cards. You don't just fire randomly down a street. <laughs> yeah, I mean, or maybe he could be. Maybe he's got some detecting in him. Maybe, mm. but he still seems like. Mm. No, go go give it. Give Look, the, the first time the we show. saw him, he got intimidated by Malvo, and that got the whole ball rolling. So right, yeah, but clearly. the great thing about this show is is that you is that you get him intimidated, so you think there's going to be redemptive the, behavior. Sure. But no, he's he's still scared and he's right. bad at it, yeah. and it's a hard job, and he's not he's not cut out for it. But you know, maybe in the next four episodes, he'll like. Super redeem, who knows? Yeah, or get shot in the head. Or, yeah, or, <laughs> or well, that, fuck that's a good worse. point. Only four more episodes, but it feels like that accelerated towards ninth episode status at the end. It had been it relatively it was all dialogue, and then almost everybody was dying. Yeah, that's the they 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 pack. This is this is one of those episodes that feels like uh, that third season of Big Love where they thought they were going to get canceled, so they just like threw everything <laughs> in and resolved all these storylines. So yeah, that uh, it's interesting to see where we go from here because this episode was not only long. In, in in time, but just it feels full. yeah, it feels like they hand it off to Lester, like yeah, he was already yeah. a significant character, but like now it's like now it's mastermind Lester. Right now it's yeah. mastermind Lester. All right, well we'll uh, we'll see, but she better she she better fucking pull. She better be wearing a goddamn vest. <laughs> the numbers yeah. better live. Yeah, numbers, yeah, that time we that one we saw. Blood. I hate to tell you yeah. this. No ambiguity on numbers. Uh, all right, guys. Poor Thank wrench. You. Thank you. <laughs>